Sports and culture have had strong intersections over the course of this year in very powerful ways for Black America. Turner Sports is going to have another dynamic chapter to that story this fall with a special golf tournament that's going to involve some high high power celebrities uh, playing in benefit to some historically Black colleges and universities, some great institutions throughout the country. To talk with us about that is the lead on that initiative, uh, Ms. Tara August. She's the Senior Vice President of Talent Relations and Special Projects for Turner Sports. Ms. August, we really appreciate your time today. So happy to be here talking about this. This is awesome. So, tell, us, tell us more about this golf tournament. So this is big names in golf and basketball, uh, people who are familiar to the Turner Sports family and the Turner Sports audience. Tell us a little bit about this tournament and, and how it was kind of developed uh, to be in benefits to HBCUs. So we're doing the match champions for change. Um, people may be familiar with the match, which we've done now. This is our third installation. Um, in the past, we raised money for COVID relief. This is our third time. And we said, you know, really the time of year is the day after Thanksgiving. And also with recognizing everything that our country has been through and us as, you know, society have been through, we just thought, it's really time to focus on raising some awareness um, and some feel good around societal issues, um, which include uh, racial injustices and inequality. So we're focusing this time on raising awareness um, and efforts for HBCUs. And I couldn't be more proud um, that we really have gotten the biggest names in sports, huge sponsors, huge media platforms to rally around this and support schools um, with money, putting our money where our mouth is, but with also with awareness so we can educate a golf, the golf audience about HBCUs and the amazing, amazing institutions that they are, and also with opportunity, because we really didn't just want to write checks. We wanted to make sure that we're educating and informing people, but then also we're providing opportunities to HBCU students. So uh, we're very excited about how it's all coming together. It's been really just a celebration of, of great institutions that have been around for a long time. So obviously this is a golf match to entertain fans of multiple sports, but the philanthropic goals for it um, have a chance to introduce some fans to HBCUs for the first time. So why was it important to highlight the philanthropic efforts behind the match and how did HBCUs really become the focus of the efforts? Especially because you've had, you had two brothers who, are, who, are, who have had ties to HBCUs, Charles Barkley and Steph Curry, both benefactors just this year of Black Colleges. So, you know, like I said before, we've uh, we previously focused on COVID relief and raised millions of dollars. This time we thought it was really time to, to focus on some other important messaging. The golf community is a diverse one. Um, we obviously know that, you know, parity in golf um, is something that could be improved. So HBCUs became a focus really from a brainstorm internally. And as soon as, you know, someone said, hey, how about HBCUs? Everybody rallied behind it internally, um, in, including all of the players that are playing Phil Mickelson, Charles Barkley, Stephen Curry, and Peyton Manning. As you said, two of them have already had you know great connections with HBCUs, and the other guys have been familiar, but really rallied behind supporting them um, in this way. And we, when we decided this, we thought it would gave us a really unique opportunity to educate our viewers, to inform them, to entertain them, um, and to really incentivize them to get involved. So there's so many different layers to it, um, so that it didn't just become an education on the air, or it didn't just become writing a check. It became all of those things views together to make a difference. Um, and certainly when you're at home watching the day after Thanksgiving, you're with your family, people are doing goodwill. I mean, we, we really think that this will have some special nuances that will um, that will hopefully educate and inform and entertain you know people around the country. So both kind of associations, the PGA and the NBA have been extremely outspoken about racial equity and restoration in recent months. But we hear a lot about how, how some of these efforts may have impacted ratings among fans. Has the position that these leagues and their players have taken ever factored into the kinds of promotion or exposure that Turner, as a broadcasting partner, conceptualizes for its products? So, you know, we, we listen to the fans, but we also listen to what we think is right. Um, and, you know, TNT is most famous for Inside the NBA. And if you watch that show, sometimes you might go, are these guys ever going to talk basketball? If they're talking about <laughs> baseball and, you know, um, the latest movie that they saw. And they're teasing each other and they're doing all of these fun things. But that's, that's at the heart of the show. And we, uh, you know, allow the four talent to be themselves and talk about what's on their hearts and minds. And oftentimes it's things that are, you know, the headlines and news um, and they may be touchy subjects and they may not always agree we feel the same way with our other telecasts this is what's on people's hearts and minds right now is about how we can make a difference how we can grow closer how we can learn about each one another um, and 
you know, what better way than sports to bring people together? So, you know, we're, we recognize that the golf, this is going to be different for the golf audience, but we also rally behind that challenge to educate and inform them in a very entertaining way um, with something that, you know, some of these guys are very, very passionate about. Um, and who better to celebrate than HBCUs, you know, around Thanksgiving when we normally have Bayou Classics and some really great cultural things happening. So we're just trying to bring that to a different audience. And I think that we're going to pull it off in a, in a fun way. And then the final question, because I know you got a really tight timeline and we appreciate your time. Um, Turner's heartbeat is in Atlanta. Um, you know, obviously one of the HBCU capitals of the world. Turner has been known over the years for being really uh, for pushing the envelope with, with hiring um, minorities and women, um, trying to be very progressive in that realm. What, what do you think that Turner does well to not only um, to bolster those efforts to be inclusive and diverse, but then to maintain the talent that they're able to bring in to to be able to to have a pipeline like Ms. August as a senior vice president, to have young people on the air, behind the camera, in sales, all these other places. What do you think that's special about Turner that makes that possible? Well, there, there's a couple of things that I think that we do because we have um, a diverse pool of staff in Atlanta. It's one of those things where if you can see it, you can be it. So, you know, hopefully myself and my colleagues, Taria Williams, us serving in leadership roles, acknowledges and tells other young women, other people of color that it's possible. Turner um, is a place that that you know um, recruits and retains talent and and sort of certainly um, you know applauds us for our hard work um, and allows us to climb the ladder. Um, the other thing that we do is you know we have really concentrated outreach. We've got a great partnership with Morehouse. They come in, the students come in twice a year, see what jobs are available hear from us, meet our on-camera talent and also our production staff. I'm constantly telling people being on TV is a great job, but being behind the camera is also a great opportunity. And think about all of those jobs. There's far more jobs behind the camera than there are in front of it. So I think that we've developed a really good pipeline, especially here with local HBCUs to, to extend that bridge and keep it going. Um, and the last thing that I'll say about the match is, again, it was about more than writing checks. We, we, we are donating money, which we know helps fund journalism programs and sport programs. Some of the golf teams are gonna benefit from it, but we also wanted to provide opportunity. We allowed some of the students to interview the players and have a once in a lifetime chance to talk to Charles and to Phil and to Stefan um, and to Peyton to get that kind of access and opportunity. You know, we're certainly reaching out and, and lending our hand and trying to, to educate and also be a symbol for, you know, what things could come. So it goes much further than just a one day event. It goes much further than just internships. It's sort of the whole picture that we try to put together to make sure that we are getting a diverse pool of candidates that are looking at our organization. And once you're here, helping people, you know, climb the ladder together. Terry August, Senior Vice President of Talent Relations and Special yeah. Project for Turner Sports. We thank you so much. Again, that's the match on Friday, November 27th on Turner and Bleacher Report. Make sure you check your local, local listings for that. And be sure that if you want to contribute to some of the schools that Phil Mickelson, Peyton Manning, Charles Barkley, Steph Curry are participating in and playing in support of, be sure to get online and do that. Thank you, Miss August. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.